welcome viewers in this video we will see the details about the bcd adder subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box the bcd adder the digital system handle the decimal number in the form of binary coded decimal bcd that is four digit each de each decimal number is represented by the four digit that is called a bcd binary coded decimal a bcd adder is a circuit that add two bcd digits and produce the sum of digit also a bcd right so bcd adder mean it will add two bcd numbers that is four decimal four four decimal points the decimal number is converted into four digits so two four digits numbers are added by the bcd adder and the output is also in a four digits bcd here implemented implementation of bcd adder as follows while implementing bcd adder we need to follow the following instruction four bit binary adder for initial addition so we need a four bit binary adder similarly eight bit binary adder is also available but four bit binary adder is a basic adder first we need to initialize the initial the four bit binary adder logic circuit to detect the sum greater than nine if the sum is greater than 9 means 10, 1, 0. This 1, 0 is represented, 1 is represented by 4 digits, 0 is represented by another 4 digits. Right? So, we need to go for a other method if the number is greater than 10. If it is less than 10, that is from 0 to 9, say no problem. From 0 to 9, each digit is represented by 4 digits. For greater than 9 means 10, 11, 12. For that, we need a two different four digits are there. So that we need to deduct whether the sum is greater than 9. Suppose if the sum is greater than 9, we need to do one more four bit adder to add 0, 1, 1, 0. That is nothing but 6. 8, 4, 2, 1. Right? 8 is 0, 4, 2, and 1, 1. So 4 plus 2, 6. We need to add the decimal equivalent of 6. That is 0, 1, 1 in the sum if the sum is greater than 9 or carry is 1 right so from 0 to 9 is not a problem so simply it is represented by four digits for greater than 10 means we need to add the decimal equivalent of 6 0 1 1 0 in order to bring back into the original value and also if the carry is generated in that case also we have to add 0 1 1 0 right so these three things we need to uh, keep in mind while uh, while going for a bcd adder that is first one is four bit bcd adder for initial addition we need to check whether the sum is greater than nine if the sum is greater than nine then we need to add zero one one zero that is decimal equivalent of six with the sum in order to get the correct answer and also if the carry is generated if the carry is one then also we have to do the same process we need to add zero one one zero right now we will see how to deduct this the number the sum is greater than 10 right so for that the logic circuit to deduct sum is greater than 10 can be determined by simplifying the boolean expression of the given truth table by using this truth table we can frame the logical expression that can be implemented with the logic gates so that we can deduct the sum is greater than 9 right okay so in this truth table the input is available input is nothing but here the uh, output of the bcd adder s3 s2 s1 s0 the output is y this y indicates whether the sum is greater than 9 or less than 9 for that we are using this output y y equal to 1 means that indicates sum is greater than 9 y is 0 means less than 9 we can put one more term c out in the above expression to check whether the carry is 1 right so the carry also taken into account in any one condition is satisfied we need to add 6 in the sum right so the bcd adder if the sum is greater than 9 we need to add the 6 binary equivalent of 0 1 1 0 in order to get the correct answer right so whether it is greater than 9 or less than 9 is indicated by the y. y equal to 0 means less than 9, y equal to 1 means greater than 9 and also we need to take an into account of carry. If the carry is generated also, we have to use the same process. That is, we need to add the sum of 6, 0, 1, 1, 0, right. Now, we will see this truth table. 
so this is the 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 bracket it is given a decimal number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 see this up to 9 is a no problem the y is 0 because greater than 9 only we have the problem there are two two different digits will be there right so 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 so up to 9 the output y is 0 right so the the process is not needed no need to add the 6 from 0 to 9 right so greater than 9 what will happen we'll see that so this number 10 11 12 13 14 15 for that case the two digits are there one is represented in a b c d separately the zero is represented as a b c d separately so for these cases we are adding the six one zero one one zero is added so that we got the final uh, final answer right so here it's the y is indicated as one 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 right so far up to nine y is zero the process is not needed no need to add six thereafter from 10 to 15 we need to add the 6 because greater than 9 so that we are we, we marked as the output y equal to 1 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 ones are available the output y equal to 6 times 1 for a 6 different cases from 10 to 15 right so now this expression this boolean from this truth table we need to develop the boolean expression for the uh, for the output y in order to implement with the logic gates right for that we can use this the k map carnap map technique can be used to double to find the expression for the output y right so what are the inputs there s3 s2 s1 s0 this is nothing but the output from the bcd adder s3 s2 s1 is the sum output from the bcd adder that only we are checking whether these four digits is greater than 9 or less than 9 s3 and s2 is represented vertically s1 and s0 is represented horizontally s3 s2 two digits are so that four combinations are available similarly s1 s0 two digits so four combinations are available 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 similarly here 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so there are six ones are available right so these six ones are marked here one two three four five six from the tabular column it is marked in the k map the remaining terms are zero right so by grouping the uh, one number of grouping the ones we can able to find the simplified expression for the output y right so here there are two groupings are available these four ones are grouped together and these four ones are grouped together in order to get the simplified form now see this these four ones are grouped together the corresponding row we need to verify this corresponding row what we have one one what is one one s3 s2 right one one mean s3 s2 this corresponding columns are cancelled zero zero cancelled by one one zero one cancelled by one zero right so this the combination of this grouping of these four ones is nothing but one one that is s3 s2 now grouping of these four ones you need to refer the corresponding third row and fourth row third row one one fourth row one zero one 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 zero means the second term one zero got cancelled this one and this zero got cancelled only this one is available what is this one is s3 that is s3 right s2 is cancelled similarly we have to refer the third column and fourth column one 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 zero right first one is available what is first one s1 so this s1 is there second term here one here zero got cancelled s not got cancelled right so what we have s3 s1 right so the output y that is the that circuit to detect whether the uh, final answer is greater than 9 or less than 9 that is indicated by y that is s3 s2 plus s3 s1 right so we need to implement this logic circuit in order to detect whether the decimal the final answer is greater than 9 or less than 9 now we will see the bcd adder how to perform the bcd addition we got the expression for y that is to detect the whether the output is greater than 9 or less than 9 now we will see the adder so 
So this is the 4 bit BCD adder. It will add 2 numbers, 2 BCD number. This is the number 1, this is number 2. A0, A1, A2, A3 is the 4 digits of the first number. B0, B1, B2, B3 is the 4 digits of the second number. These 2 numbers are added by the BCD adder. The carry in is given. The carry also given. Right? So, S0, S1, S2, S3 is the output. Output that is the addition of these two binary numbers, these, these two BCD numbers, right? This. In this, what we need to check whether this output that is S0, S1, S2, S3 is greater than 9 or less than 9. If it is less than 9, not a problem, is the final answer. If it is greater than 9, we need to add 0, 1, 1, 0, that is the decimal equivalent of 6 so that will get the final answer right so this is the carry out is there for carry out is available in that case also we need to add the decimal equivalent of 6 that is 0 1 1 0 right the two cases whether one the output is greater than 9 for that also we are adding 6 when this carry out is generated for that case also we are adding 6 so for that we need this logic circuit and one more bcd adder right so, this one more BCD adder is available. This is the logic circuit to detect whether the decimal number is greater than 9. See here one R gate is available. Right? So, the C out is given here. So, if the C out is available, C out is high, the R gate output will be high because R gate any one output is any one input is high, output is also high. Right? So, this R gate the one of the input is carry out. If the carry is generated, this uh, output of this R gate is high, so it will go to this place. What is this? This is another BCD adder, right? So this S3, S2, S1 is as a one input. Another input is this decimal number 6. That is, we need to add the 6 with the final answer. So this is the answer available. With that, we are adding 6 for only for it is greater than 9 and also carry generated. In case of carry generated and greater than 9, what we are doing? We are adding 6. See this, this is 0. First and last is 0. Second and third is the output of R gate. So that 0, if the R gate output is 1 means 0, 1, 1, 0. That is nothing but decimal equivalent of 6. Right? So this is the final answer. This is the answer from adding of first BCD number and second BCD number. With that, we are going to add 6 for when the carry is generated and decimal, when the carry is generated and the answer is greater than 9, right? This 0 given to first and last digit. Second and third digit is connected with the R gate. So, if the R gate output is high, here also high, 0, 1, 1, 0. So, you are adding the output from the BCD adder with the 6, right? For that, this is a logic. So, one logic we verified, C out. Another logic is greater than 9. Greater than 9 means we from the truth table, by using the K-map, we, we got the simplified expression. S3, S2 plus S3 into S1, right? So, for that, we are having two AND gates. This is connected with S3 and S2. So, S3 and S2, S2 will be multiplied here and another AND gate S3 and S1 is connected. So, the output of this AND gate is S3 into S1, right? So, both are added together. If all are high, S3, S2, S3, this S1 all are high, then only the output of this AND gate is high, so that the R gate output also high, so that is given to this number, so this is nothing but a decimal equivalent of 6, that 6 will be added with the answer in order to get the final answer, right? So, this is the first BCD adder, add the, add the first number, first BCD number and second BCD number. From that we got the output. This output is verified whether it is greater than 9 or also verify the carry out. For that we are using this logic, right, R gate. One input is C out, another two input is this AND gate, that is S3 into S1, S3 into S2, right. In that case, in that case, we are using another BCD adder, right? From the answer from the first BCD adder added with the 6. If the carry is great, carry is generated as well as decimal number is greater than 9, right? These two are added together and got the final answer S0, S1, S3, S2. In that case, carry is 0. 
right the already carry is given in the first bcd adder so here one more carry is generated that is ignored no need to consider this carry right so that we have the final answer s3 s2 s1 and s0 right so here we used two bcd adder first bcd adder add the first number and second number then final and this the answer from the first bcd number is verified whether the carry is generated first case second case whether the decimal whether it is greater than 9 by using the logic circuit in both the cases we are adding 6 with the answer in order to get the final answer right so in this video we discuss about the bcd adder how to add the two bcd number using the bcd adder subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening